Hey everybody, it's Andy, aka Max Ryder. I am back on the GoFraft server, and today we're gonna head out. Hey cats. Um, hey boo cats, as as Mitzvah would say. There's my little snow place, which I've got a snowman in there. Anyway, we're gonna go to Merkwood today, and we're gonna build a little station. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna build a little station outside, just out on the edge of the forest, and maybe try to get that forest growing a little bit more so that we have kind of a foothold in Merkwood. It's not very far, actually. Look at all that stuff down there. And I'm taking you guys because I... Well, actually, I have. In, like, episode 2 or 3, I went and investigated Merkwood. Let's redo this. There's some nice little, little shallow lakes out here. Huh, so it's been a while since I've just come on and just messed around like this. And I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I believe it's right over this hill. I hope everybody's doing well. We are right now in the middle of the April Hardcore Challenge, and that has been interesting. Uh, kind of fun. Oops, where am I? Oh, that's the hill. That's the hill that I spotted Markwood from before. We don't actually have to go up on top of it. There she is. I hear spiders. Probably down there. Okay. Anyway, I was hoping. Hmm. You know what? I think I once took a tree from here. And so I brought a few dark oaks, and we're going to try to replace that. I should have brought some bones, too. I thought it would be good. Holy mackerel. I'm getting distracted already. Uh, wow, look at this. Oh, it's a ravine. Holy crumb. Good. Okay. Wow. Uh, did you guys hear that? Let's take a look under here. Yeah, I know. I was supposed to be building... Oh, gosh. Okay, it's part of that same ravine. We're going to seal you back up. And we're going to seal this up on this side, too. Anyway. So, distracted. That, I was wondering why that was so dark. We're going to go up here, find a spot. I'll be right back. Merkwood has a lot of little areas like this little openings that are actually planes. Now what I was hoping to do what the heck, was build a little house out here somewhere. Um, and I thought I'd put it on the side of the planes, but I'm thinking I might move it over in this area. So I'm going to look around till I can find a really nice spot. This is actually a really nice spot. I found it. That was easy. And I have a little bit of stone that we could start it with. Yeah. yeah, we're going to put it up in this area. For now. Oh my goodness, we're losing our light. Well, so I found a little cave over here, and I was going to quick make some shears so that I can make a quick bed, whereupon I can actually get rid of the... Oh gosh, why am I lagging? Get rid of the light, the nights. So I brought some some spruce wood and I think we're going to build just a tiny little house as an outpost here. Uh, let's see. Probably put a door in this side. I went ahead and chopped down one of the dark oak trees to use for part of this build and it looks like we've got about the same amount of each. So I'm probably going to do a dark oak roof with the little spruce house. Once I get a little more progress, I will be back. Okay, we've got a nice, simple house here. I just need to get a roof put on this place. We're still cooking some glass. And we're probably going to need a chest, too. Nice to be able to look out some windows, so I'm not sure where I can fit a chest. I should put one right there, but... This is a tiny house! <laughs> It's cute. It's cozy. I like cute and cozy little houses, and it's just an outpost. 
So, you know, that makes sense, right? Oh, for goodness sakes. So five, 40 might not be enough. Bit of a drop there. I wonder if I can make the leap onto the top of this house. Oh, there's a birch tree right there I could use for the floor. Nope, I can't. Ow! Oh, I broke my legs! It hurts so bad. We are also running out of daylight again. So we're going to have to kind of get this roof up as quick as we can. Pike Rise is on. He just popped in. Said, asked me if I was recording. And I said yes. I think that was the extent of the conversation. Which is fine. It's fine. Uh, glass won't connect to these, will it? Let's just go ahead and do some more spruce here. For now. It won't be a beautiful house. It will be functional. That's my favorite kind of house, though. And I shouldn't have to worry about lighting up the exterior. Uh, yeah, it's got to overhang them. It will look awful. Oh, Pike Rise left the game. So technically, I could go in and sleep log, and I think we're going to do that. Whee! So let me finish up the roof, and I will be right back. This turned into a, a lot of fun. There you have it. This is Mirkwood Outpost, and it's established date. That gives me a presence in the Mirkwood, which is pretty vast, actually. It goes that way to the Misty Mountains. Uh, I need to name that mountain over there at some point. Uh, I'll probably do that today, too. But <clears throat> it is cute and quaint and little and cozy. Uh, you've got crafting bench. You've got your furnace. Here's some of my leftover stuff. I'm going to take these signs with me. We'll go ahead and leave this metal in case someone gets lost out here in the middle of the night or something. They'll have a place that they can go. And it simply establishes my presence here in the Mirkwood. Or on the edge of it. Uh, this tree grew. Bam! These guys grow really fast. That's a tree that I cut down in order to replace it. Uh, these two trees are brand new. I just planted them and they're already up. What i got to do is start uh, gathering a bunch of... I think I'd like to gather a lot of dark dark oak saplings and just kind of fill in some of these holes. There's several little plains areas like this in the Mirkwood. Three or four, actually. I can look on the map. One, two, three, actually. Four. There are four. I'd love to fill them in so the entire area is just dark covered, dark oak covered forest. And I, I think I'm going to never, ever want to take down any of the mushrooms. There's another one right there. Can't quite see it from my little house. Did I leave the dirt behind? Let's go ahead and fill that in with dirt. Do a little tiny. I'm not really terraforming <clears throat> as I'm just doing one piece of dirt. Yes, I know. Steel Douglas would disagree. But there you go. I'm just going to do that so you can't really see the the um... Oh, wow. The foundation. That's the word I'm trying to get. <clears throat> and that's it, guys. Thanks for joining me. I uh, didn't really talk about much today. Didn't really... Just was in a mood to just build something simple. Uh... Oh, can't quite make that jump. And there you have it. I, th I think this is a cute little house. Like I said, it's super cozy. It'd be tight for two, but it's nice for one person who needs to spend the night out in the wilderness living in fear. And I could also end up putting a trap door in the floor at some point and digging downward. We're going to see where that goes. I don't. Th I think that will take us yep, into the ground, so we don't have to worry about that. And I think that's about it, everybody. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me while I put together my little teeny tiny house. It is a slightly different design from anything I've built since I first started playing Minecraft. Uh, I, I usually go for odd numbers on both sides and the even fit here better with just four. So it made for a different, t slightly different build. And there you go. I like it. like my little house. I need some of the chicken I brought. And thanks for joining me. That's it. I will talk to you all next time.